Um, cool? Is that what you're trying to show us? Uh -uh. Then what did you want us to see? Snake! Swimming, swimming, swimming! You saw a snake swimming? Snakes don't swim underwater, do they? I've never heard of that. Me either. Maybe he saw a long fish. Or a piece of seaweed. <gasps> a snake! <gasps> it's a snake! Let's follow it! It looks like it's taking a breath of air. I'm looking it up. It's called a banded sea crate. It can't breathe underwater, so it goes to the surface for air. It must be able to hold its breath for a long time. Let's time it. Hello, hello, snake. Come here, snake. Oh, and it says the crate is venomous. <gasps> usually avoid divers. They just aren't interested in us. I wonder why not. Well, they eat fish. And we're not fish. Let's keep an eye on it. There's plenty more to see down here. So beautiful. I see snake. Looks like trees. between breaths. That's amazing. And we never would have seen it without you, Nash. No, no, no! <laughs> and we'll grab Nash's toy with it. Marco, I built a polymarine to withstand really strong pressure. We can take it as deep as we want, even to the midnight zone. Oh, great, new plan. Let's do that. The midnight zone? What's the midnight zone? You're about to find out. Audrey, let's dive. Changing to Polo Marine mode. And down we go! Hey, it says here that the ocean has different zones that get different amounts of sunlight. Right now, we're in the topmost zone, called the sunlit zone. Plenty of sunlight can reach this area, but the deeper we go down, the darker it gets. Below the sunlit zone is the twilight zone. Here, a little sunlight can reach. And below that, deep, deep down, is a midnight zone. Light can't reach here at all, so it's completely dark. Wow! It's getting really dark. And we're here. Uh, it's kind of spooky. I'll turn the headlights on. Whoa! What is that? A rat tail fish. It's named that because of its really long tail fin. In the deep ocean, only plants and animals that can survive extreme pressure live here. And most of them look very unusual. Ooh, like that creature. Yes, that's a type of sea slug called a nudibranch. It's cool, but I don't see Nash's dolphin. Ooh, what's that thing? What is it? Wow! Jellyfish! <gasps> and they're glowing! When a creature can make its own light, it's called bioluminescence. It's very useful when there's no sunlight around. Lucky! Dolphin! <gasps> Nash, you found it! 
The glow from the jellyfish helped you see where your toy landed. Oh, yeah. Way to go, Nash. All right. Got it! Nice, nice, nice work, work, Willow. Dolphin. Here you go, Nash. Good as new. Just a little soggy still. <laughs> cool. Yeah. yeah. Dolphin, yay. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> kind of like that one. <gasps> it is one. And it's doing it. Sea turtle, sea turtle. Oh, it's a baby sea, sea turtle. turtle. Lily did say lots of pictures. Okay, I'm done. Seagulls? Oh, this is bad. Seagulls are predators of baby sea turtles. Predators? You mean they want to eat it? But it just hatched. He's helpless. Poor turtle, poor turtle, poor turtle. Poor turtle, poor turtle, grab it. Put it in the water ourselves. Huh? Nash says he wants us to pick it up and bring it to the sea ourselves. That's a great idea. Yay! Nash, wait. In nature, it's best to let creatures do things by themselves. We should only pick them up if there's no other way to help them. <sighs> If we could scare them off, it could give the turtle time to get back to the water. But what are seagulls scared of? Caterpillars? Thunder? Broccoli? Aha! Uh -huh. Seagulls are afraid of hawks. So we'll make hawk sounds. They sound like... Um... Uh... I don't know about hawks, but... Your farm animal impressions are great, Gorby. Here's what a hawk sounds like. <laughs> Good thinking, Nash. We need to be way louder to scare them. I've got an idea. Audrey, play the hawk sound through the polar boat speakers as loud as you can. Raising volume to maximum. <coughs> ah! oh, oh, oh man, that was loud. Look, it's working. One little turn of one. One. Go, turtle, go! Go, turtle, go! go. Crawl, crawl. Bye, bye, turtle. Take picture, take picture, take picture. You're right, Nash. Now would be a perfect time for a picture. All right, let's take some photos. <laughs> of the sea turtle, I meant. <laughs> <laughs> They're termites. Too bad termites can't talk. They would have been close enough to see what happened to the picnic log. I don't think so. Most termites can't see. Actually, I think we're just seeing a few termites. Look, termites live in colonies. There can be more than a million termites in a colony. A million? That's a lot. Around here, the colonies are underground. But in other places, they build these. They are oh, huge. Oh, that's that. The mounds are their nests. And at the center is the termite queen. It's her job to make sure that there are more and more termites. She is one big termite. It says that termite queens can grow to be as big as your thumb. She gets so big, she can't move around. So all of her children take care of her. So what do termites eat? Wood, right? It says here that most termites like to eat rotting wood from falling trees. That's one of the ways decomposition happens. Decomposition? What's that? That's when old rotting plants break down and return their nutrients back to the earth. So that new plants can grow. Hmm. I know what made 
the picnic log disappear? You figured it out? You know where the picnic log went? Yes. The amazing Lily will now amaze you by explaining the disappearing picnic log. Yay, amazing Lily! The picnic log was a fallen tree. Right. I just never thought of it that way. And fallen trees are the kind of rotting wood that termites like to eat. The termites made the picnic log disappear. They ate it. That's decomposition. Exactly. Now the only thing that's left of our whole picnic log is that one little piece of wood. And the termites are eating that too. That is yeah. amazing. Thank you, thank you. So the disappearing picnic log isn't a magic trick after all. No, it's part of how nature works. I miss the picnic log, but I still like it here. It's nice to think that it's feeding other plants and animals so that they can live and grow. And speaking of feeding, picnic! And now I, the amazing Lily, will perform another amazing trick. I will now make the sandwich disappear. Ha! Oh. 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 Oh.